What happened was Mariah Carey and her sister Allison are over there at Mammy's house. Patricia, that bitch, my bad. I know she has dementia right now, but God damn it. I mean, she is a bitch. Hello, black hole. Well, hello there, love bugs. Hello there, Bellas. If you have not already done so, please remember to like, share to Facebook, subscribe, and visit uptopbeauty.com. Today's looky looky would be our Michelle Red Lip. Now, let's discuss facts that we have learned from the Mariah Carey book, The Meaning of Mariah Carey. Y'all, if y'all hear something snorting, grunting, playing around, barking, whatever it is that this puppy does, listen, he's a puppy. I'm trying my best to get these videos done. I haven't been able to get in front of the camera effectively since we've had them, but I miss my Saturday morning video recordings, doing my zhuzh, you know, providing it to the masses, uh, 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 right? But it's been crazy with this puppy here. So if you hear a little bark or a little grunt, show me some mercy. Now the first Mariah Carey fact that we've learned from reading the meaning of Mariah is that Mariah got a boom boom room. It's called the Moroccan room. She said that plenty of splendiferous things happened in the Moroccan room. Girl, we know that's the boom boom room. I don't even know why you trying to uh, pretend like it don't go down in the Moroccan room. Number two, which made me love and adore Mariah Carey even more. She would never, ever, 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 ever disrespect the queen, Aretha Franklin. Hence, the divas, what number was it? Was it 1999, 2003? I don't know. I'll put it below. Hence, the divas live where they was paying homage to Miss Aretha Franklin. But they had Gloria Esteban up there, Celine Dion up there. We are not denying the fact that that Miss Celine Dion can blow. You know who else can blow? That goddamn, what's the girl name? What's the little young skinny girl that's always wearing ponytails? She's probably like 47 and still be trying to look like a barb. Ariana Grande. That little girl can blow. She may look like a little girl at all times, at every time. I'm like, why would she put that ponytail in her head, just accentuating the fact that she just still looks like a preteen. But anyway, we're not talking about her. We talk about Aretha Franklin and it's Celine Dione. Now, okay. while Celine Dione was up front giving the Aretha the business because, you know, they twiddling Dita and back and forth, right? Mariah Curry was like, I don't want no parts of this. Uh-uh, I'm going back there with the background singers, because what I will not be a part of is this food shenanigans, okay? And I ain't even know it was Celine Dion. She didn't even put the name of the lady in the book. Y'all had to tell me it was Selena Dion. The third one is she got precious on a humble. She's sitting on the beach, la la la, <laughs> with her girlfriend Rhonda, okay? Suddenly she gets a call, uh, Mariah, what are you doing? Oh, I'm on the beach being Mariah. Hey, uh, yeah, Lee Daniels wants you to maybe be a part of something iconic. Oh, really? Okay. Can I wear makeup? No. Hmm. I can't wear makeup, but let me do it anyway because glitter was such a tragedy that I need to prove to you people that although glitter was a flop, I can renew myself in Precious as the caseworker. And that she did. Number four, she gives a tea on everybody else but herself. Mariah, I see you. Her sister scolded her with boiling hot tea. What happened was Mariah Carey and her sister Allison are over there at Mammy's house, okay? Patricia, that bitch, okay, my bad. I know she has dementia right now, but God damn it, I mean, she is a bitch. You got Allison and Mariah sitting down having a rare, beautiful moment together. Her pappy called her and was like, um, hey, let me talk to Mariah right quick. Mariah, kiki, 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 ah, oh, ha, 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 daddy, um, 
Allison wants to talk to you. Just playing, being a little girl, she handed the phone to Allison. Allison said no and threw scolding hot tea on her. What the hell? Number six, Def Jam ain't good enough for Mariah Curry. Hence, Will Smith and her was on tour together while she was singing background for the lady Brenda K. Starr. Willie Smithy had took Mariah Curry round there to the Def Jam. All right, she noticing, she liked the vibe, because you know it's rappers, because she liked that rapper D. She round there, looking around, okay, I like this vibe. But when she went up to talk to the people, she was like, oh no, I don't, who is this little boy? He's not the man, I want. I don't want Robin, I want Batman. Who is this motherfucker? Nope, Def Jam is not good enough for Mariah. The next one is Tommy Mozzarella Sticks. It's the devil. Hey, he married now, to some girl named Thalia or Thelia or Thea, something like that. Y'all better check on that girl. And make sure that nigga ain't put a tracker in her neck. Glitter was the catalyst to her public nervous breakdown. Because mm -hmm. remember we read in the book, everything was unwinding. She had all this pressure on her to make sure that the Glitter movie was successful. And at the same time, Tommy Mozzarella Sticks was sabotaging her. Everybody calling, looking for her. She like, I can't do it. I need some space, some, some me time. Child, she went one place, they called her. She went to her mammy house, they called her. But Ma, you're supposed to be my mother. You're not supposed to be working for them. You're supposed to be working for me. All of a sudden, Mariah Curry goes into this rage because you know you Aries, y'all will rage. And sometimes people be like, whoa, to y'all it's just a moment. But to the people that are receiving that rage, that shit is forever. Kern, not really Kern, her mammy name is Patricia. But Kern called the police and was like, oh, my half black daughter is trying to hurt me. I feel unsafe. Help me, help me. Next week, you know, Mariah Curry is in the car headed to a mental facility. Okay. Then after when she got out, her brother tricked her to go out to California to go to another mental facility. Mental facility. Facility. Next, her mother, Patricia, was a trained opera singer. One day they both in a car. Patricia is singing a song, you know, that's current on the radio, and she's singing in her operatic way. Mariah Carey over there sniggling as a child. <laughs> Mommy, that's not the way it goes. Zap! You wish that you could have the vocal capabilities of me. Mariah was like, Okay, mammy. Who waste Miguel was lunching. That, and she suddenly told us that he was a drunky poo, which is hilarious because we all know that Mariah Curry has her issues with drinking. How do we know this? Because we seen her on one of them New Year's Eve specials, drunk as shit. But luckily, you lambs explained to me that half of it was because she was drunk as shit. The other half is because she can't walk in heels. I mean, I'm the same way. Fuck them here. Anyway, she said that Luis Miguel was a drunk, and she didn't like the way he said, uh, well, you don't look black, so goddamn it, you're not. She was like, I'm black. No, you're not. You look white, so you're white. Biggie Smalls meant no harm when he said Mariah Curry's kind of scary in his song, Dreams of King an R&B Bitch. One of my commenters said, who could take that seriously? Everyone knew that that was a joke. Them girls ain't take it as a joke. Biggie saying that uh, the girls from Escape were not attractive girls. Ooh. My goodness, they gonna live with that stigma forever and ever. Now, I ain't gonna say the girls is ugly. I ain't gonna say that, but I'm gonna say they just regular around the way girls. Now, you know, I'm gonna keep that clean, okay? Cause I'm down here in Atlanta. I don't need none of them escape bitches running up on me.
not already done so, please remember to like, share the Facebook, subscribe, and visit uptopbeauty.com. Now, remember this. The same people that you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down. My naysayers, my patron loves you babies. Y'all better have a good one. Peace.